this is Harish here welcome to DB2 LUW tips and tricks video tutorial part 64 in this video tutorial I am going to talk about how to restrict the load utility uh, from execution during online database backup activities in progress this slide talks about the problem and the solution the problem scenario is we want to restrict the load utility during online backup is in progress so online backup and load utility are not always compatible I'm not saying they are always incompatible uh, however there might be some specific cases uh, when the online backup and load tend to uh, hold conflicting locks with each other uh, and uh, that could be seen as a problem so how to restrict the load utility when the online backup is uh, uh, once the backup schedule has started so that is the solution that uh, we are looking in this tutorial and the solution is not very specific to the uh, conflicting behavior of the load utility and the online backup it's a generic uh, thing uh, you even you can uh, use this uh, particular solution to restrict the load utility uh, on business days so, so like you you want to expose the database to the external world but you don't want them to uh, load data into that on from monday through friday so it will be open only for transactional purposes so uh, uh, on Saturday and Sunday you can allow uh, the users to load huge uh, data in their master tables so what is the solution so how are we going to do that so it's a two-step process the first uh, step is to define a work class for load activity so first whenever a work is getting submitted to the database it can be a query execution it can be a load activity it can be import export like that right so we have to first define a work class for our load activity so whenever the load activity is submitted by some end user who is connecting to the database it will be mapped to a particular work class and the second step is to define a work action so the work action will operate on a work class and it's going to prevent the execution of the load work class so we will define a work action on the work class and the action is to prevent the execution so that's a simple two-step process uh, only new load activity will not be allowed see because when we define the work action we can enable it or disable it so once we enable it after the point of enable uh, enabling right uh, then only then after that whatever the load activities that are submitted only those will not be allowed new load activity will not be allowed if there is a, a load that is already in progress when we enable that particular work action right those will continue to run so keep in mind that okay so let's uh, as usual get into the uh, solu uh, solution uh, or a demonstration so here I have this script actually so here I am starting the instance activating the database connecting to the database so this is the uh, work class uh, statement that I was talking about like first step to define the work class so create work class set load class work class load jobs work type load so you can see this is the important thing work type load so we are categorizing all the load activities into work class the work class name is load job now the next thing is for the load jobs we need to define a work action restrict load at a database level so using work class set load class work action stop load on work class load jobs prevent execution right so whenever some work is falling under the load jobs category the prevent execution will be done so that is the work action we are defining and you can and this is the switch that i'm talking about enable so i can enable this i can disable this work action so once i enable the work action it will prevent execution of the load utility once if i disable the work action it will allow the load utility right so now after creating the work work uh, action i'm within that same connection i'm loading see here and load fails with error it will obviously fail with error okay so because we are not allowing it right uh, then what i'm doing is alter work action set restrict load alter work action stop load disable so this particular work action right uh, stop load the stop load work action is enabled so here i am what i'm doing is the stop load work action disable which means uh, it will not prevent right so the load should get succeeded right so that's what we will get similarly after that again again switch it back like you know enable so it's like a switch on switch off like thing right so again if i issue the statement after that i i load everything under the same connection right so the load will again fail with error so it is it has that much flexibility so it's like a switch on switch off so what you can do is like uh, if you want to uh, uh, implement this in the backup uh, solution right so in the backup will be like a shell script or a batch file like that right so in that uh, before starting the online backup you can uh, issue the statement uh, you know uh, to alter work action set 
enable like that so you can issue this enable statement so what will happen the load will fail so uh, during the backup execution it will fail at the end of the backup script you can again uh, issue one more alter with uh, disable so which means that during the online backup was running uh, this particular work action was enabled so for that amount of time nobody can submit load activities so you can simply do that or you can even uh, you know uh, so every sa saturday morning you can go and enable this particular uh, work action uh, so uh, sorry uh, every saturday morning you can disable this work action so that uh, saturday and sunday you are allowing the load utility to run then monday you go and uh, enable this work action so monday through friday uh, load utilities cannot be submitted right so you can simply achieve that so hope this information was useful to you uh, thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel db2luw academy see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye